Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey. I am a six year homeschooling mom to three children ages 10, six and one. And a lot of you guys said that you wanted to see a do a lesson with us BJU math. I actually just did an updated first grade routine with my six year old. So I will link that right here and you can kind of see how we do BJ math. It's not a full do a lesson with us, but you'll get a pretty good idea. So I thought I would do it with my fifth grader today. He's actually using BJU level four. So this could be for, you know, fourth, fifth, maybe even sixth grade, kind of a general idea of how their BJU math works. He does have ADHD, so there's probably gonna be a little bit of <laughs> like redirection and things like that. So this is the worksheet that we are working on today. It is from chapter four, lesson 43 of math four. So here's what it looks like on the front. And here's what it looks like on the back. So the, at the top, it has kind of an explanation of what you're going to be doing. So I know a lot of people will tend to not have the teacher's book. I actually like to have them just as reference in case, like for instance, this lesson and a couple of lessons prior, um, it's kind of starting to get into the math where I know how to do the math, but I don't know how to explain the math. So it's nice to have kind of these to like guide me. And then you also have the answer keys, which makes grading much, much faster, especially when you have older students who start to work a little bit more independently. In the back of the workbook, if you don't have the teacher's manual, they have a little bit of information. So multiplication and division. So this has the associative property of multiplication that we're gonna be talking about today. A little bit of a definition of it. Some of the other things that we've been working on in this lesson so it does have a little bit honestly i feel like at these ages and grades this is probably adequate enough i definitely wouldn't use this for like pre-algebra or anything like that but for third fourth fifth grade math it's probably going to be okay so um we're actually going to be using the whiteboard today to kind of demonstrate all of this we also have a lot of hands-on manipulatives that we might use. Generally, most of the time, I don't have to spend a ton of time explaining the lesson. Whereas with some of the other masks that we use, like the Good and the Beautiful, I would say 75% of the lesson was explanation, and then the rest was kind of more hands-on work. Whereas this, I kind of just explain it. We work through the front of the worksheet together, and then the back of the worksheet, he kind of applies what he just learned. Also in this one, they have daily review not built in. So you actually have to complete daily review on a different page. So here would be the daily review that it would have him be doing, um, which isn't a lot, but then there's some days where like, these are a lot. <laughs> this section right here would be a lot especially when he has other things that he's learning or definitely when he's learning new things. So I've started keeping these at the end. So when he finishes whatever lesson it is, I think it's lesson 45, then he'll spend a day doing the front and back of the review sheet and then he'll spend a day doing the front and back of this review sheet. Okay, so let's say that we have four neighbors. Okay. okay, and each neighbor has two dogs, and the dogs get three treats a day. Do you see how it's four times two times three? So what we can do is, how many, so how many factors are there here? Oh, three, and three. I think There's... I can try to solve it, so. Okay, so here's what you do. So what we're gonna do to make it easier is we're gonna put parentheses around the four, and the two. I remember how to Hold do on. this. Hold on. Okay, how do you do it? So first you solve the four times two. What is what? Is, wasn't it eight? Eight. And then what you do is then it's eight times three. Right, so do you remember what eight times three is? Eight, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen? Twenty-one? Stop guessing. Twenty-four. Eight, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. 
21. 24. 24. Yes, so A times 3 is 24. So this is called the associative property of multiplication. So the grouping of factors can be changed without changing the answer. So what if we did it this way? 4 times 2 times 3. I put these in parentheses. So what's 2 times 3? Look right here. What's four time, 2 times 3? 4, 6, Right. And so your answer is still what? 24. 24. Are they all 24 in the orange? Yes. So, did our answer change? Uh -uh. No. Did our factors change? Yeah. No. Just our parentheses changed, right? Okay. So, let's do the first one together. Okay. So... We're gonna do two times three times eight. Okay, two times three times eight. So, what do we do first? Okay. 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 So, now, 3 times 8 is, and 24 times 2 is, 24 times 2 is, 48. Okay, so, solve one equation in each set. Circle the equation that you solved. So which one would be easier for you to do? Knowing which ones you know. Which one was easier for you to solve? This one or this one? This one, okay. So you're gonna circle this one and write it. So what was your answer? So this is what you're writing on the second line. It makes it a lot more easier. I can do it. And then after that, then I write it down. Okay. You just have to pick one. This one. So which one do you think would be easier for you to do? Okay, so it's three times three. Okay. Now let's do the other one next. Okay, you don't have to do both, you just do one. Okay. So now it wants you to write which one circle which one you did. So you did this one. Okay. And then you write your equation. So it would be 9 times 7 is 63. Yeah. Okay. So. I'm going to do this one. Okay. It's the same answer as 2 plus 2 equals 4. You're right. It didn't change. It's almost like this, the 24 answer that we did before. Okay. Is it easier for you to use the whiteboard? Yeah. I keep hearing Mario in the background. Yeah, Bubby's watching Mario. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, make sure your parentheses goes around the numbers and not the uh -oh. times. Because when you get to algebra, 
it's gonna be very different. I couldn't have all this Here. Yesterday. Yep. Okay, put your parenthesis. And then times nine. There you go. Do you wanna tell them why you make your nines like that? Because of the lightning McQueen? Look, he's right there. He's right there. Okay. Mm, and it just, it, and like doing this, mm -hmm. that's what I used to do, but now I do this way. Yeah, because of the lightning McQueen. Okay. Mommy, next yeah. time can we do a day in the night video? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Mm. So, mm. what do you do first? Good job. Mrs. Jackson is baking cookies for the children's Sunday school classes. If there are six classes with five children in each class and each child will receive two cookies, how many cookies will be needed? Two, two for each child. Um, yeah, so there's... How is he? I would choose this one. Yes, good and, choice. And since it's an answer like this, I would probably, I'm just going to probably just wait. Okay, but go ahead. And then this star, you know, I just do by itself. Yes. But whenever we get back to these, I'm going to need back the board. Okay. That's the part I was starting to Okay. We'll get to that. Okay. So, which do you do first? Okay. 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 So, you can just write on this line right here. So 10 and six, uh huh? 60. 60. So 60 cookies. Okay. Mm, that's a lot. Okay. So do you remember how cookies to do? Diabetes. You ate all those. <laughs> well, not every. <laughs> You're not gonna eat that many. Each student gets two cookies. Remember? What if so if they the need what if the 60 total. What if the teacher ate them all? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Do you remember how to do this one? Let me make Just the regular way? I'm guessing... No, nope, we're not going to write it like that. Oh. What? Okay, write it up and down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what do you do first? Eight. Eight. Uh-huh. Ten. Not one. So you multiply these two, and then you multiply these two. Oh! So, four times one is... Yeah. Okay. Now, what's our trick with 11? No, you can erase that. What's our trick with 11? It's 22. It's 22. Yeah, you just, just double, double the number. Yes. And this is the easiest part. Yep, times 10. You know those. That's not easy. Okay. So 38. Well, it's not 38. So 3 times 2 is. And 3 times 1 is. Yes. Oh yeah, it was from Mario that sound. Yes. I thought it was. I thought it was from Sonic at the break. Okay. What's your next one? Okay. So this one, let's do together. Let's, a little bit. So let's look at our chart. Or let's not look at our chart, I mean. So what's 7 times 2? You know your times 2s. Think hard. 14. 14. So our 4 goes here. Where does our 1 go? Up here. And then so what's 7 times 1 times 1? Not times 1. So 7 times 1 plus, plus one. 1. So that's... So that, this would be confusing if you did it like this. 
Except it, yeah. it would make sense because it would be a right? No. Well, yeah, but then you'd use the parentheses again, like we just learned. But mm. that'll be, you haven't learned how to do that yet. But yeah, that's exactly what you're doing. So seven times one is seven, and, and plus eight. one is eight. Yep, okay. Do you wanna do that for the five too? Or do um, you? I think it's, I think it's we're not, 50. We're not gonna guess. 60. Stop guessing, look. 12 times five. Ten. Five times two is 10. Six. Uh, I just yeah. said it was 60. But did you have it because you memorized your 12 facts or just because you're guessing? Because I remember my five facts. Oh, okay. And this one. Go to the bathroom. Okay. okay, so this is the back of the worksheet, which is usually where the first page is more of like what you're learning that's new, and then the back page is usually what they're learning that is the new concept they can try on their own, and then a little bit of review from the past ones. Can so, you, can you tell them what I sometimes, whenever I used to struggle? We used to skip the back page and only did the front. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes depending on the lesson, we have to break it up into a couple days, but that's okay. And then sometimes we don't do all the the numbers either. Oh, nine times nine. What's nine times oh, nine? I remember eighty-one. Good job. That's a big answer. I don't even remember. I remember that one. Yep. Yes, good job. So before they go in the portal, that you have to solve the answer. So 48. Now, what happens is 48 is going down the pipe. <laughs> and anyways. <laughs> All right, let's keep working. Good job. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful for you to get a good idea of what BJU math looks like, what it's all about. Um, if you have not seen my math comparison video, I will link that right up here. Took us several math <laughs> curriculums to find one that really fit he and I very well. And so um, I hope that this video has been helpful. If it has, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye.